Hi everyone, uh, Travel Addict a Guy here, and I just checked into this Airbnb today. It is called the Little Corner Airbnb, guys. So, actually, it was really strange check in. There was some kind of machine, and you had to put in all your information. It was actually a big, long booking number. You had to put the dashes in, and then it would print all the information for you. So, when it did that, finally, everything was done, and it said it was gonna print a card. So, no card came out. I had to call the company. Finally, a man came and he gave me the card. So, here he is with the card. It wasn't too much longer. Okay, you two know what it is? Rami, Rami. Rami, okay. So, Rami, estás, uh, he's helping me. Estás ayudando. Sí. Gracias, Rami. Aquí estamos con su llave, la siento okay. solo la cerca y empujo. Okay, perfecto, ok, so here's my room guys, let's take a look. Gracias. Y mi tarjeta está aquí, ok. Sí, la dejé ahí para que tengan Ok, pues muchas gracias. A ustedes. <laughs> ok guys, so I'm checked into my Airbnb now. Wow, it is, uh, so it's like a little tiny hotel or apartment basically. It's a small room, kind of reminds me of the room I had when I was in France, actually, wow. So let's take a look. You've got your little bed here. You've got a little tiny table. And you've got a little bathroom. So there's not that much here, wow. It's even smaller than it looks in the photo. So much smaller than a normal hotel room, unfortunately. Almost like a hostel type size. Wow. So, wow, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed so far, guys. I had a lot of issues getting into the um, Airbnb at first. Like I said, I had to call the company. They did answer the phone right away, and I was not waiting too long. And when I was talking to the woman, that guy came right around 3 o'clock. Actually, 3 was the check-in, so I had to wait to check in. But it is very small in the room. So, we'll see what the rest of the place looks like. Maybe there's some areas to to sit inside of here, maybe to do some work, because here it's gonna be really difficult to work. It does not look like a comfortable chair at all. It looks quite uncomfortable, actually. That's where I'll probably have to be working. So just for a reference there, I have my suitcase open, guys. You can see there's barely any room to move around. There's hardly enough room to open up the suitcase. So a very, very tiny room here. The price was 62, I think almost 63 euros altogether. And the reason I booked a Airbnb was because for some reason it's a Saturday and the hostels were very expensive and I did not have a hostel book. So I learned a lesson. Usually I'm booking two days. On the weekend, I think you have to book three or four days to get a lower price. The prices were high today, but tomorrow they are lower. So I booked from Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I booked three nights for 13 euros a night in a hostel. And it's a good rated hostel, so we're gonna find out what that looks like. And that is really good for 40 euros. So this for 62, wow, for one night is doable, but I don't think it's too recommendable as I see it now. But I think it breakfast is included. So maybe the breakfast will make up for it, guys, tomorrow morning. Wow, even the door handle, guys, is a little bit wonky. Look at that, it's like loose. And I had to pull the door. It didn't actually close on its own. I had to pull it tight a couple times. I had to kind of pull it tight hard for it to close. Kind of this little blue hallway here. Um, you do have an elevator here. So this is nice here. Actually, we have this little area here. So this is the nicest thing I've seen yet. This is what I saw in the photo that looks so nice. Um, I thought the whole place would look like that maybe. So we do have this little area here. I'll probably maybe be working here. Let me see if this is comfortable. I'm gonna sit down now. So, wow, okay, so this is nice here. Maybe I can do some work here because in that room, it is not comfortable at all, that little chair, ooh. Um, let's take a look and see if there's anything else downstairs, guys. I got in the elevator, it was kind of like a thud. It was like a wump. I go, uh-oh, and the lights kind of like flickered a little bit, but they were okay then finally, so. Maybe that's a wonky elevator. It seems like there's only one floor. Uh, looks like this is the area for dining. So maybe the breakfast is good. I hope that's good. I believe that is included with my stay. That is kind of why I booked it. And they said the normal price was 100 euros and I was getting a special deal on booking.com. And yes, there is something next door. Um, 
¿La desayuno está incluido, no? Sí, el desayuno sí está incluido. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias. No, de nada. Ok, so he said there's a nice breakfast tomorrow. Entonces, este es un café también, aquí. Wow, this looks really good. Este es un um, café también. Sí, todo cafetería, sí, está todo. Ah, ok, eso es un café y... Es cafetería de cada, es el ah, nombre okay. de cafetería, está todo conectado. Y el nombre es... Little Corner, ¿no? The Little Corner. The yes. Little Corner, ok, yes. perfect, ok. So, wow, these look actually good here. We got some nice brownies. Oh, those actually look good. Oh my. Some nice looking cakes. So it's actually a, like a coffee shop connected to the Airbnb. So that's what it is, guys, a little corner. There's two ladies here and they were um, asking what this was, guys. And this is actually called horchata. And I've never had it before. It is a milk, kind of like a milk. I thought it was made from nuts, but he said it's some kind of bean called uh, chufa. Chufa, okay, so. Okay, so Miko told me it's the worst thing ever, so we'll see. We'll see how it is. So, um, it's interesting. It's kind of like a soy, maybe like a soy milk, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's so like. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I have a YouTube channel. It's okay. Would you like? Can I film you? No. Ah, okay, not okay, really. ah, okay. <laughs> so kind of like soy, maybe, but it is sweet. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's not terrible, for sure. <laughs> it's not that bad, guys. It's kind of sweet, actually. It doesn't really taste that much like milk, though. It tastes like that milk substitute, maybe. Oh, I kind of like it a little bit, actually. It's not bad. The first taste is kind of... It's different. It doesn't have much smell to it. There's the other kind of milk I've drank, maybe like the oatmeal milk. Kind of like that uh, oatmeal milk, maybe. Something like that, but a little bit different. So maybe that's what I would, um, that's what I was thinking of. Or that's, um, or that almond milk, maybe something like that, but a little bit thicker. So not really soy, I'm gonna change my, my opinion on that. Not really soy. More like almond milk, maybe. Like almond? <laughs> Something like that, like the almond milk yes. or the oatmeal milk, something like that in between. She agrees. <laughs> so this is very interesting, guys. It's like pumpkin pie, but it's actually, they take the pumpkin and they actually cook the pumpkin, just like that. Look, you can see that there, wow. So that is very different there, but I like it. So he said, it looks like the pie. I thought it was the pie actually, but he said they just take the pumpkin. Maybe they clean the outside, I don't know. And they cook it like that. And uh, I imagine they add something to it, like sugar or something. But he said it's quite sweet and it's very popular in Valencia. This time when I got in the elevator, guys, it did a, a huge like womp. And it sounded like, ooh, not too good. So I don't think I'm gonna be using this elevator too much, guys. I hope it makes it to the floor. Wow, you saw the light flick there, went out again. Oh my, okay. So it's only one floor. I don't think I'm gonna be using the elevator too much here, wow. I just opened the window, guys, and take a look at this. So definitely not the prettiest, that's your view. What is that, part of the elevator shaft? Oh no. And I'm afraid that like, look at it, it's kind of dirty. So I'm kind of afraid if I kept the window open that Probably like cockroaches would come in. Ooh, and it's kind of warm in here too. So I guess I'm gonna have to use the air conditioner. I'm not a fan of those, really. Ooh. Yeah. Not my favorite place, guys. So there was a bottle of Wander. I hope that's complimentary. Um, that is a good thing. I guess one of the few things I like about this Airbnb. Hi everyone, good morning. It's the uh, next morning in the Airbnb here guys and I want to show you something else wonky. I actually did sleep okay. The bed was uh, quite nice. It was quite fine. Uh, I tried to take a shower yesterday. I could not get the water to get even warm really. It got like just a little bit warm. It was not quite cold, but it was just a little bit warm. So I was waiting, it was still the same. So now I see something this morning on the wall here. Check this out. This is kind of weird too. So it's in Spanish. It says, so basically it says, please open the faucet. 
of the shower and let it uh, run for three to five minutes until it gets hot. That is kind of wonky if you want a hot shower. Well, can you imagine staying here in the winter if you have to wait three to five minutes for hot water? Oh no. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down and have the breakfast. So let's see what the breakfast is like, guys. Maybe that will redeem this place, but so far it has not been too good. So I'm leaving the room. I wanna see if I can get that door to close again, guys. Let's see. It'll close easy like that. Not closed. Let's try it again. Not closed. Normally hotel doors, they close on their own. Not closed. Closed. And you have this wonky arm here. So, wow, if the kids were closing the door, you better be careful on this one. I heard someone else um, this morning slamming their door too. So it seems like this um, room is not the only problem. So let's go down and have breakfast. Okay, so they have some nice outdoor seating. Indoor is the same as that uh, cafe, basically. I'm looking at some other breakfasts. They look quite nice, guys. So I ordered a latte. So let's see how the breakfast is. I think it's gonna be the best part of this Airbnb actually experience. Okay guys, here's the breakfast. Well, that's, this looks pretty good. So it seems like the best thing about this place is the breakfast so far. And look at that, you have a little bit of a tortilla. There's a little friend here flying around. We have some jamón serrano, some pavo or some chicken, or some, um, excuse me, some turkey, some cheese, some croissants, some bread and they made me coffee and he was gonna give me orange juice um i don't drink orange juice normally i don't know if you can see on camera guys but the glass looks a little either it wasn't washed well or it was a dish i took detergent on it bowl of fruit too i like that guys i had the breakfast guys and that was definitely the best part of staying here and i saw a lot of couples here and i don't know if their rooms are bigger than mine but could you imagine spending a day or two here as a couple that bed is quite small that would not be my favorite thing unless they have larger rooms. I don't know. Maybe I got the smaller room. The staff was quite friendly. I have to say that. So that was a big plus, guys. It's nothing to do with the staff. I just think that the place could be much better. I'm thinking of those four-star hotels we stayed at for a cheaper price even than this. But again, we are in Valencia. So I guess things are more expensive here. So basically the first hotel I've stayed at here in Valencia and it has not been my favorite guys. So that's the video here from the Little Corner Airbnb. Is it worth it? Well, the breakfast is good. Maybe take the breakfast and avoid the room. So we'll see you in the next video. A travel addict, a guy. Take care everyone.